Now, the people on our stream will know. Welcome to the Experience Bars Barroom Brawl. First Sunday, June 28, 2015. We're playing Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. And it's just me and Aston today because Kevin. I don't know where Kevin. Actually, I should text Kevin and just verify that he's not joining us. He said he wasn't. I haven't really played this either, so. Like it'd be I've fun. played a little bit with Amanda, but none online. Yeah, I. I well, you, you mean like co op, like Split Screen? Right, I played Split Screen, but nothing online. Okay. Yeah, no, I never really played it until like a couple months ago. And we so, I, I like it. I like it because it's like, it's kind of like my style. Uh, in the sense that it's like, there's a lot of close quarters. Uh, like, encounters, you know? Instead of just like, running around and just getting shot at everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's alright. I, it's also, because it's team focused. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's I mean, it's much more, yeah, just kind of like, uh, kind of like a team fortresses. And, like, because cause of the multiplayer games that I have played and enjoyed is, is like, Team Fortress is one of them. I used to play that a lot. Other than that, though, I, I really don't care to go out of my way for online games. Uh, I play some shooters. I wouldn't say Plants vs. Zombies would be, like, one of those that I play a lot of, just in general. But Kevin really liked this game. It's really cheap, so I picked it up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got EA, it. Please. Whatever the hell that, that is. I mean, the, yeah, the EA. I don't. Uh, I don't understand why more people don't get it because literally, like, it's thirty dollars for a year, <laughs> and you just get a bunch of games. Granted, the game selection is kind of. Cheap, so. I guess. It's like, it's like sports games, sports games, sports games, sports games. Sports. Peggle. Sports games, sports games. Not Call of Duty. Sports games, sports. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Titanfall is probably like the most. Uh, what you call it? The most uh, high-profile game on the vault. What I'm wondering is if they what are if, going to. Didn't they just to... add something big? Uh, At E3, I mean, they FIFA, announced something. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I can check real quick if you're not set up yet. I well, I'm still. I'm making sure the Twitch does not read Pac-Man right now, which it <laughs> did. Um, you really got to figure that shit out. I I think it has to be the app. Yeah, it has like to be my thing, and there's some setting I can change, but I, I'll... It's easier Figure to just go in and change it every time, I guess, because it's changing every time. I don't know, whatever. There is EA Access Hub. See, I don't understand why EA Access isn't on Origin, because that would make sense, you know? Like, if, if you had games in the vault, and you get discounts, and you use Origin... Because, like, there's... It looks like there's a setup on there for it because I go to it and then it and it notes that I have EA access on the mm. on like the account settings. But there's like it's not like I can download PC version of Titanfall. Um, so I mean I think it would be much more compelling if that, that was the case, right? Like if, if you have PC versions too. Get I feel versions, like yeah. that's counting on EA to be particularly generous, and they're not known for being particularly generous. True. Very true. But even then, so, I mean, like, they should realize that their market is not, like, I mean, come on. <laughs> like, you're, the, the, most of the EA games on a PC are not necessarily going to be games that people buy on PC, you know? Like, they're most likely going to buy it on consoles. Yeah. They might as well just, like, throw them a bone. Like, and for, you'll, you'll for people like people you, anyways. the one... 2% of gamers who are gonna actually use both. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just like, we might as well just do it, right? I mean, it's all on it, all it is is just a policy thing, right? Like, but yeah, EA Access, I'm on the vault right now. NBA Live 15, FIFA 15, NHL 15, Madden 15, UFC, Titanfall, Garden Warfare, Puggle 2, Battlefield 4, FIFA 14, Madden 25, and Need for Speed Rivals. That is everything in the vault. Wow, that's not a lot. Yeah, that's why I was so pissed off when people were like, Oh my god, 
Netflix of gaming, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, people, it's not streaming. Stop it. <laughs> like... Okay, anyway, uh, I've got the posts up on Facebook and Twitter. Go ahead and share them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Welcome, for those who are watching. Uh, this is uh, Barman Brawl. Each week we pick a game and we play it online together. Um, and it's uh, pretty good. So we're playing Garden Ops, I'm guessing? We, let's play some team-focused stuff. So Garden Ops, uh, create match. Um, invite friends to the party. I'm inviting my friends to the party. My friend asked me. We here. need we need Netflix parties again. Why uh, did they cancel that? <laughs> that was the weirdest. Remember, like at the beginning, the Netflix app would like zoom in, and you'd have like your avatars on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> exactly. It was the dumbest shit. Okay, uh, I guess we can make this public, because why not? Wait. Map any difficulty normal. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, ready, like... Well, basically, I'm never ready. <laughs> I, I meant, do you, you want to check the box or what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, five, four. Alrighty, so everything seems to be running... All hunky dory. So uh, let me just check that the stream audio is good, and uh, we'll be on a roll here. Do, do, do. Was there what? What was at EA's? E3 thing. Was there a lot? Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we're picking teams. I mean, I, I picked already. Um, mm -hmm. So what are you going to be? What, what was I was a... E3 um, what should I call it? I, I totally hear myself, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know. I'm, I'm just... Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just making um, sure the audio works in the stream, sorry. Uh, I picked the, uh, the Venus flytrap thingy. Okay, I'll be the beast leader, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fools down. This game looks really good, like, graphically. Yup. So I wonder what you can do with, you know, Focus on design instead of just let's take Unreal Engine and throw textures on it. Random ass textures, that is. Uh, oh, oh god, this is an inverted. What am I doing? I'm, yes, I'm a heathen who plays. Am I inverted. supposed to plant the garden, or are we? Uh, what are we doing? No, no. So we, uh, yeah, we both plant a garden. For some reason, I have some oh. on, but I'm okay with that. Oh, yeah, we, we gotta pick an area to defend, so I wouldn't pick this yeah, one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, hey, uh, somebody joined our game. I'm over here. Yeah, because that helps me. <laughs> uh, I'm up by the houses? You turn around, you can see my little player icon. Like, I'm the guy who's not the other piranha plant guy. Oh, I guess okay. he picked a garden. And we have another pea shooter with us. So where are you? I'm behind you, I think? Yes, I'm behind you. I'm the one with the Oh, yeah. Okay, I see you. Alright. So we gotta plant stuff to defend. I'll go over here. I've only played a little bit of this, so I don't really remember, oh. but we're gonna find out on the fly. Uh... The combination is kind of genius. Like, initially when you hear it, it's just like, really? But then you like play it, and then it's just like, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. It does, yes. I remember where it was like, you're at that watching that press conference, and they're like, we're turning Plants vs Zombies into a gritty first person, third person shooter, and we're just what? what? Like, is this a joke? Yeah, it's pretty funny. But it's, it seems to play pretty well. I actually like this because it's it keeps kids like 
good kids from playing something other than Call of Duty. Yeah, or, or any other kind of, like, game that's just because it's popular, you know? Right, it's not, not that Call of Duty's bad, it's just, I don't know. I, I kind of don't understand how we got to this point of, like, the, the commercialization of video games, especially when it comes to, like, something like, say, Assassin's Creed. Like, of all the games to become, like, a, a year, like, an annual release, it was a third-person adventure game. This Assassin's like, Creed is one of those ones where it's weird for multiple reasons, but, like, I don't know. It, it just, it, it rubs me the, the worst, like, the wrong way more than, like, something like Call, like Call of Duty. The way it's treated, like an eSport, and the way people play that game online, yeah. like, okay, map updates every year, plus you get a short single-player campaign, like, that's, that makes some semblance of sense. Like, you get something new to yeah. play, but the, the way that the, the way that they annualize Assassin's Creed just makes me really depressed for Assassin's Creed, you know? Yeah, like, I feel like it's, it's honestly one of those games that should not have been annualized, but they do it anyways because they know that it sells. Like, how many copies of Unity was sold? And Unity is just played with a bunch of problems, you know? Like, uh, actually, I'm playing it right now, it's fine now, but yeah, right, at, at launch, it was not great. Yeah. And it's not to say that Unity is a bad game, obviously, but it, it's it's one of those things where it's just like we've gotten to the point where people just aimlessly buy things based because, off of because their... right, right. And, and but this the hard thing is it's that's the general public, you know. It's yeah. It's I, hard I totally to remember, inform um, them. Yeah, We're yeah. Still at I the totally point... remember. Sorry, yeah, but, uh, well, I was gonna say remember when Target was having that Black Friday sale or kind of Black Friday. Where uh, you got a bunch of games for like half off. I remember I was there and there was this like mom who was buying Call of Duty and she didn't know what to look for. She didn't know Call of Duty. Uh, and then she asked, she had to ask a, a, a Target employee like, you know, what game should I get? Which one's the newest one? And then he said, well, it's buy 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 one get one free. And and then she was just like, okay, so just get me all the Call of Duties. <laughs> like, and wow. she had no idea, like one from the other, so she got Ghost, she got Modern, or uh, she got Advanced Warfare, like, so it, it was one of those things where it's just like, man, like, no wonder they do it, because they know that the, that they can just ride off of the popularity, because there's no kid, it's just going to tell her mom to Call of Duty, and mom's going to get random Call of Duty right. games, same and thing with they Assassin's, buy the wrong same year, thing, then they'll know. go back and buy the other one, like, exactly. it's this weird thing where games are still, like, they're not, they're kind of, they're mainstream for kids who are getting bored now because they've been around long enough, but for parents, you know, they didn't grow up playing games, they don't know what to look for, you know, they don't know what's a good game, they, like, they've never experienced playing bad games because they don't play a lot of games, if at all, you know, mm -hmm. so it's, they're in this weird spot where, um, like, there's no consumer advocate group there like there is for other things. Like, nobody knows everything about the automotive industry unless you work in the automotive industry, right? Mm -hmm. So, there are... Well, a lot of people end up with <laughs> expensive Toyota cars Camry. that they can't afford. Yeah. More Toyota Camrys, because, yeah. you know, consumer reports exist like people like that who, you know, don't... Um... Like, don't why are there not more Mazdas in the road? I love Mazdas. Mazdas are great cars, especially the new ones. You know, if you don't want to buy a Honda, buy a Mazda. Yeah, but yeah, and people probably just don't know what. <laughs> right, they <laughs> don't. So they keep buying. Yeah. They, they keep buying your cords over and over. You know, like it, it's. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know what happened. I don't know. There's a zombie slot machine. Super, Super Tombstone Wave. All right. I have is no that a good thing or I, a bad I feel thing. like it's probably a bad thing. Oh, we have to destroy the tombstone, probably. Uh, 